Good morning, it's Amy Simpson from Breathe, Believe, Achieve and I wanted to talk about just really feeling all of the feelings, all of the feelings that just lie below the surface. Um, we're all very, very good at, we're happy to feel some feelings, so we're happy to feel the emotions where we feel calm and relaxed, where we feel happy or we're having fun. We don't, we're, often we don't like feeling, we don't like feeling that the anxiety, we don't like feeling the worry, we don't like feeling scared, we don't like that feeling of feeling lonely or lost, we don't like feeling that feeling of anger that can be there, or frustration. And every single one of us has a temptation that when these strong or more difficult emotions, when they're present, we our temptation is that we just push them down, we push them somewhere so that in this moment we don't feel them. And there's, if, it, if you've ever done any sort of mindful practice before or kind of looked at, really kind of worked with emotions before, there's a saying about what we resist persists. And it is so true when it comes to emotion. I often describe it as a bit like a jack in the box. So, you know, that emotion kind of appears and our initial kind of thought can be to slap down the lid and say, not just now, and we kind of push it somewhere or we try and go faster and just kid on that it's over here and we're not thinking about it. But if you think about it as like that jack in the box, it's just waiting, it's just like winding up in the background. And it's often then, it's not that we're, it's gone away, it's just lurking in the background. And it will tend to reappear. It reappears, tends to come in a lot of different ways. So it'll reappear. Most classic ones are when you're absolutely exhausted, when you have no energy left and that's the moment where it's just going to be like, right, I think now is a good time for that me to make that appearance. It could be when you're unwell, so your resources, your physical, mental, emotional resources are on empty. It can actually often be when somebody's really nice to you. So we've all been there when somebody, um, when somebody's been really kind to us and there's that sense of like, don't be nice to me, do not be nice to me just now because I'm working so hard at keeping all of this emotion just underneath the surface and you being nice to me is just going to bring it up to the surface. Or sometimes it comes out in the sense of, um, I know that I, 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 like, I've experienced this many times, is that something's happening, I'm worried about something, I'm scared about something, I'm anxious about something and... Um, I come home and maybe one of the kids has left stuff lying on the floor, the dinner's not ready and then God help the first person that I see, they get this absolute mouthful and it's nothing to do with that dinner's, there's somebody's not thought about dinner or there's stuff lying on the floor, it's actually just that my body's exhausted trying to hang on to this emotion. So rather than pushing that emotion, pushing pushing that emotion down, giving it, allowing that emotion to really bed in. If we can choose just to sit with it and be curious, because all emotions are valid. All emotions are here for a reason. Do you know, every single one of us is feeling a whole spectrum of emotions just now. Do you know, some days we're feeling, actually, do you know, I'm enjoying this rest. I feel quite alike this time. And in other days we kind of have, fear about what might happen we've maybe got pain and loss and sadness because maybe it's touched somebody that we are close to so there are so many emotions around it so just seeing if sometimes that we can just acknowledge today this is the emotion that's here because when we're acknowledging it and allowing it to be here yes it can be really difficult but it's maybe just if if on those days we maybe ask for a bit of support we phone a friend we take some time we just give ourselves some space, we we choose to be a bit more present and just to breathe. Or we just recognise, you know, actually this is this is this is this is a big thing. This is this is causing me a lot of stress. And no wonder because it's so important. So just seeing if we can feel whatever is feel whatever is there, try and not push it down somewhere because actually all we're doing is giving that emotion all of that power. And it will reappear and it will come at a time, as I said, where it'll come at a point where you really can't, where you don't have the resources to deal with it. So take a moment, just close the eyes, just notice any emotions that are here, seeing if you can, just welcome them, remembering that really there is no right or wrong way that we should feel. 
There is no such thing as good or, bad, good or bad emotions. There are just some that are a bit more difficult, a bit stronger, a bit raw. But that's okay. But just noticing where do I feel that in my body. So maybe it's in the chest, maybe it's in the head, maybe it's in your stomach, maybe it's in your shoulders. Noticing wherever that is. And just seeing if we can just breathe into it. So rather than trying to push it away and kid on it's not there, just try and take a couple of breaths and just acknowledge it. And acknowledge that it's probably there for a really good reason. I hope that helps.